Hi everyone, today we're talking about Apple stock, which is a stock I've not talked about for a few months really on the channel. And the main reason we are talking about Apple stock is because of the new iPhone and the new uh, Apple event that happened a few days ago. And some interesting things came out of that event and we're just going to talk about them briefly. Now Apple stock and me have a little bit of a history and um, I have hold, held shares in Apple a few times. I held some shares in Apple um, a few years ago and then recently it was a stock that I held this year and I can't, can't remember exactly what the numbers were but I think I got into Apple stock around about $150 and then I sold out about $210 somewhere around that kind of range um, and I had a 30% or 30 to 40% upside on that stock and I sold out um, about two or three months ago. Um, but it was when the stocks that I invested in when we had the big massive pullback in December uh, and then I think it got to a bit of a fair value kind of point and that's mainly the reason why I sold out of the stock. Um, but it's a stock that I've held before but currently have no shares in Apple stock. So we're going to get cover a few of the things that were happening at the event and then I'll kind of give my opinion of all of it and what I'm planning to do with Apple stock and where I'm going to go if I'm going to buy any or if I'm not going to buy any and we'll take it from there. So we'll start off with the new iPhone and then we'll get onto Apple TV in a little bit. But the new iPhone came out and we had three different models that came out of the iPhone. Um, the, the three different models kind of offered a different price range. And we noticed that they were trying to go for one a little bit more cheaper this time. But they still kind of had that option as well of going for a quite expensive iPhone. So there was three, they tried to cover the bases a lot more with the three iPhones. Now when we actually look at the technology of the iPhones, they're not hugely different um, from previous models, there's not been any extreme changes. The most notable one about the, this iPhone really is about the actual appearance of the iPhone and we haven't really had too many appearance changes over the years. The Probably the most notable one is that we've gone to the full screen iPhone and also we lost the um, headphone jacks. That was like the kind of like two major changes that was the appearance with the iPhone. Um, but I guess like now there was one big major change with the iPhone and that was the new camera on the back of the iPhone. Now if you have not seen it, it is a very strange looking thing. It is kind of like a square that's been stuck on with three circles that are being put on the back. I think it's three cameras it is. They're being stuck on the back of the camera. And I also saw that the panel of this was setting up, uh, setting off people's phobias of uh, holes, I think it was, uh, or holes or circles, I think it was. Uh, it would make more sense to be circles, but I swear it might be holes, I'm not sure. But that was really weird. Um, but yeah, when I saw it, like I saw the front, I thought, yeah, standard iPhone. And then I saw the back of it and I was like, whoa, what, what's that thing in the top left corner? Like, it was um, very strange. So I think the prices this year are a, a lot more better for Apple. Um, obviously, the you know, the uh, iPhone obviously makes still, still, still such a big revenue up for Apple. Um, and they need to, you know, try and keep that going because they don't want that um, business side to slow down. Um, at the same time, do I think it's um, exactly enough for... The models that have come out to kind of say to everyone now said oh is it worth going to upgrade your iphone and i think that was kind of the worrying thing for me is that when i saw the models and the looks of them i thought that doesn't do anything like the big square thing on the back in my opinion is not good looking and i don't think it's an attractive looking iphone this year and that's quite hard because they've always been the same and they've always looked quite nice um, I just think that with that big square thing on the back, it looked quite ugly. So I think appearance wise, it's not great. And for me, um, if um, everyone else kind of gets that kind of feeling, um, everyone I've spoken to, they said they don't like it. Um, but it might just be <laughs> the people that I know that don't like it and me. Um, but it seems to me that I don't, I don't like it and other people don't like it. So if that's the situation, if people are going to upgrade to a new iPhone, maybe not. But I think the iPhone... 11 is the one that doesn't have it um, so maybe people would go for that one we'll see um, but I thought that was a little bit of the worrying part of um, the Apple news event and um, two no other notable things to put down that I'm not done we did have a new Apple watch you know they have relied on that growth of that Apple watch and they are coming out quicker and quicker now uh, it was like we used to have quite a bit of a gap between the Apple watches but now they've kind of done what they do with the iPhone and do it every year now um, so I, I don't know how I feel about that one but there's a new iPhone there, we had a new uh, iPad I think as well, um, like I say, you know, the, the iPad hardly makes up you know, any revenue of Apple really, um, so whenever Apple talk about iPads, I don't think it's really 
you know, considered that much. I don't think it's that important for them, really. Um, so no one really, when they go, oh, we're bringing out a new iPad, no one ever really goes, oh, wow, that's going to be amazing because it doesn't really um, contribute much to Apple's revenue. And the other big thing as well is Apple TV. Now, um, earlier on in the year, um, when Apple TV was announced, i pretty sure I made a video on this uh, channel slating that announcement because there was just so much like lack of detail in the announcement. And then a few weeks later, um, Disney came out and they announced their kind of uh, TV platform, movie pl platform, and that was amazing. And they kind of blew everyone away with it and they talked about the pricing structure and that was fantastic and it sent the stock up huge and it deserves so. I think uh, for me, uh, Disney kind of TV, uh, the TV channel that they're going to be doing is the one for me to invest in um, because they have all the content already and a lot of their content will make other revenue from being in the cinema or TV shows and everything like that. But Apple TV, they finally brought the prices out and now they finally brought the prices out. I thought the prices were actually a really good move. I think it's such a sensible price to um, go at. I think it's $4.99 is the exact price, uh, but it's somewhere around that region if not. And that for me was a, a great price because when you look at Apple TV and you compare it to Netflix and um, to Netflix and Disney, Disney and Netflix are already established companies with a lot of TV content already. Whereas Apple doesn't have that much TV content and that's what it's going to try and produce. So I think because of the lack of content it has, that's why it is cheaper than the rest of them. But at the same time, it, you know, Apple normally goes for high end prices. So I wouldn't have been surprised if Apple announced that they were going to bring out the uh, Apple TV for uh, $9.99 or uh, $14.99. Um, and I thought that would have been a bad move for them. But I think they've made the right decision here to go with these prices right now. And then they've also got the option when they build the content up to put the prices up. Um, but as some as someone that's trying to break in this sector that is behind the other two, it's a very sensible pricing from Apple. And investors seem to like that because after that was the big kind of news from this event and it, the stock had a really good day um, the day after, uh, I think went up about 5%. And I think that also push, pushed it back towards 52 week highs. So I'm kind of going to get onto my opinion now with Apple and like I say, I've put up the key, the three key points for me for Apple stock is that obviously the balance sheet is amazing, which will help them expand. There's the slow growth problem that we know about, the iPhones not selling, Apple trying to get into the server side, which obviously this event was trying to talk about, you know, the Apple TV side of it. But it is quite slow growth. And I actually looked the other day and I was like, I actually can't remember that I forgot how slow Apple's growth is. I think it's only around about going to be two to three percent, which is pretty slow, really. And also there's, um, I believe from here and the prices is it at, I can only see about a 10% upside. And Apple really is now a value stock. And we talk about how how fairly is it priced? Um, how's that dividend doing? And we look at Apple stock and to be fair, it's a pretty low dividend yield if we're going for a value stock. I There's a limited growth here for me. Um, and I do really, really like the company, don't get me wrong, I think it's a fantastic company and that's why I bought it in January. Um, but at these prices that it is right now, for me, it's not an attractive purchase and I don't think I'd have that much of a return from it. But when we talk about prices that we saw early on in the year, when Apple is around about $150, and um, that's uh, where I see a lot of potential in Apple and those are the prices where I'd be happy to get into Apple. So if there was a pullback in Apple, then I would buy into the stock. Um, if, it, if it was a healthy pullback, a big chunk pullback, um, then I would get into the stock. But for me, um, I don't really see much upside and I don't see much, um, I don't seem to get a reward for holding that stock right now because I don't see, uh, but there isn't much of a dividend yield. And I don't see it going up too much more than what it is right now. Um, so for me, um, at the moment, I'm not attracted to these prices, but um, I still think Apple is a fantastic company overall. And I thought the event was pretty decent apart from, how the iPhone looked um, was my main concern, but I think overall it was a decent event for Apple um, this time around. So guys, that's me talking about Apple stock and the new iPhone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could give the video a like, that would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next video.